Well, hi there. While you watch this video, mosey onto the internet. Find any reptile forum that you like and type the following words. Nocturnal reptiles do not need UVB. Or if you prefer, type nocturnal reptiles need UVB. I'd wager by the time this video is over, somebody will have jumped down your throat. It's the best. So the reality is that most people don't want to talk about controversial topics like UVB for nocturnal reptiles, and those that do often just want to shout at you. But the thing is that we should try to answer these questions, and we should be able to have a polite and considered conversation about it. So do nocturnal reptiles need UVB? Ultraviolet B radiation, UVB, stimulates the photobiochemical synthesis of vitamin D in many animals. And vitamin D is important in many ways, including assisting in the absorption of calcium in the intestines. So vitamin D is needed to absorb calcium from their diets, and UVB is often needed to create the vitamin D. Without adequate amounts of calcium, many health issues can occur, including metabolic bone disease, which can lead to considerable suffering and death in reptiles. UVB is something that reptiles get in the wild from the sun. But what about reptiles that sleep during the day? Well, the reality is that in some cases, reptiles may be adapted to a lifestyle where they are not exposed to the sun at all. If this is the case, they need to be able to extract adequate amounts of calcium from their diets without UVB exposure. But something that must be true for any reptile is that they must have an adequate amount of calcium in their diets. This is why we so often recommend calcium supplementation. If there isn't enough calcium in their diets, then all the UVB in the world won't save them. However, in addition to calcium in the diet, basking reptiles like this bearded dragon clearly do need exposure to UVB in order to uptake that calcium. This really isn't controversial. But what about nocturnal reptiles like this crested gecko? Do they need access to UVB? And for that, I would say it depends. It really depends on one thing. In the wild, are they exposed to the sun or are they not? This matters. What doesn't matter very much is whether or not they're awake when this happens. If you fall asleep for 10 hours while sunbathing, you're gonna be just as sunburned as if you were wide awake the whole time. Some nocturnal reptiles spend the day down in dark burrows, in caves, holes, and under objects. They are not being exposed to UVB. Others, like crested geckos, often hide in plain sight, right out on the side of a tree or otherwise out in the open. They are being exposed to UVB. Those that spend the day out in the open will likely need some UVB exposure to uptake calcium properly. They will probably need a lower intensity UVB than basking desert species like bearded dragons. And this is because they will be shaded by the canopy most of the day, but they should get some UVB exposure and it should last all day. Many species that spend all day in the dark do emerge at dawn and dusk and will spend some time basking in very low intensity UVB. That said, they're often very good at absorbing that limited amount of UVB. They will likely do best if provided with some low intensity UVB each day, but they probably don't need it all day long. Many of these species can do okay in captivity without UVB. They will survive, most of them will avoid metabolic bone disease, but if you do an experiment where you give some of them UVB and some of them not, you will see a difference between those that get the UVB and those that do not. And I get the temptation not to use it. UVB lights are a bit expensive and the bulbs need to be replaced regularly. But where possible, providing your animals, even nocturnal animals, with UVB will be beneficial for them. If UVB lights just don't fit into your budget, allowing your animals some exposure to direct sunlight can be even better than a bulb. That said, make sure only to do so when the temperatures are appropriate. Be sure that the animal can find refuge from the heat. Accidents can easily happen when exposing reptiles to direct sunlight. Remember, UVB doesn't penetrate glass, so putting them in the window or out in a glass box won't do the trick. And remember to be kind when discussing this and other controversial topics in the hobby. Not everyone knows as much as you do, and not everyone has the resources that you do. People make mistakes. Be a teacher, not an enemy. Feel free to share good information in the comments. Let us know what other controversial topics you would like to see us cover in the future. And as always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon. And, <coughs> and vitamin D is important in many ways, including assist in the...
Dang it. <coughs> I'm like, don't joke, don't joke. And vitamin D is in <laughs> you goofball. And vitamin D is important in many ways, including assisting in the absorption of calcium in these. Dang it. 